Can you imagine being in a headspace that you are so relaxed that every single care that you think about as an adult melts away? How was that? AVDL stands for Adult Baby Diaper Lover. That's a full diaper. You waited too long. What's wrong with you? Numb. They actually have an identity that is a younger age than their chronological age. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. It isn't necessarily overtly sexual, but it's a bonding experience. Do you see an adult in a diaper? Why do you think they're a pedophile? People want what they had as a kid. It's very nostalgic. There has been this whole economy that has sprung up to serve the community. In addition to manufacturing adult diapers, uh, I also wear them uh, all the time. Good morning, little one. Are you ready to wake up? No. I am Mommy Cat, or sometimes Goddess Cat, and I am a professional pro-mommy here in Denver, Colorado. I provide babysitting, mommy dates, um, overnight sessions, and a lot, a lot more, really. I love the fireside, when all the lights are low. It's a campfire. <laughs> My sessions range from $200 to $2,000, and that is one hour to a weekend. The people who come to me for sessions are definitely looking for that over-the-top mommy experience where all of their choices are taken away, they're 100% submitted and not in charge and just there for whatever happens to them. Show me four cookies and four crackers. You're so cute, you know that? I had lost my father when I was younger and I was very close with him. And then once he had passed, I felt like my life had changed. Part of me was just like not there. So being with me in little space, like I can go back and think like, you know, oh, I used to do this when I was a kid. Like I'll put like a diaper on and like my pajamas on and then like find an old movie I watched as a kid. Just because it was fun. Just because it's like one of those times where it's like, I don't have to be an adult right now. One, two, three. Nice job. <laughs> I am ABGL. I was a little before I was any of the other things. I think I need a change. This is okay, and this is um, a tool that people use to not just work through traumas, but also to relax. And for some people, it's not about that at all. It's really just about being able to feel little and taken care of by someone. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> You're so cute. Some want to just come and be babysat, just have a story read and have their diaper checked or changed. And then some people want to go much further into a sexual aspect of things. This is a good place to just make a little stand and reflect on what they were doing wrong. But if they need a serious punishment, we could take them to the spanking bench. You can tie someone down to it. It's perfect for squirmy littles who want to try and get away. And it's probably my favorite way of punishing. I think most people mix their ABDL with some other kink, whether it be bondage, medical play, vintage punishment. ABDL goes so well with so many different kinks that this all lends itself really well to what I do. Anything else in there that you want to show us? Um, I mean, the castration stuff doesn't really go along with ABDL as much. My name is Dr. Rhoda Lipscomb. A lot of people call me Dr. Rhoda, or a, a few people these days affectionately call me the diaper doctor. It can be very challenging sometimes to explain really what ABDL is. You have the people who identify as what the community often calls adult babies or littles. Those are the people who feel that they actually have an identity that is a younger age than their chronological age. And then at the other end of the spectrum, you have what are called the DLs or the diaper lovers. The diaper lover does not have that younger identity. You know, DLs, primarily, it's usually much more sexualized for them. And it's more about the diaper being the fetish item. Though you, there are diaper lovers for whom it's not sexual at all. It's simply about that comfort, security. It just feels natural for them. So how wet is that diaper? 
Diaper changes are definitely something that people are looking for. So they're kind of expecting it and looking forward to it. You should probably pop up on the changing table. It isn't necessarily overtly sexual, but it's a bonding experience. You're showing parts of you that are private and there is a lot of sensory things going on during a diaper change. So it's an incredibly magical thing done between a caregiver and a little, and it's, it's very bonding. Oh my goodness. That's a full diaper. You waited too long. What's wrong with you? All right, let's take these cute little jammies off of you. Up. Good job. For some people, it can be that dominant submissive of, oh, I'm submitting that someone is checking on me and, and doing these things and I don't have the control. But I think for some people, it probably replicates that age for them in that time frame. So we're almost at AB Dealer, Caitlin's favorite spot in the whole world. The diaper store is an incredible opportunity to feel normal. At Target or Walmart, these things are not usually meant for us. When you're at a diaper store, Everybody knows they're for you, and everyone thinks you're cute in them, and everyone wants to encourage you to try on the outfits and just be that truest little self. Will you try this on for mommy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's so cute. I love it. I've heard several people complain about how the modern AVDLs have it so easy because we have these resources, not just brick and mortar stores, but the online presence of AVDL has exploded. So it's easier. It's easier to be yourself. We got light purple or white. Babies can't make decisions, huh? I think there has been this whole economy that has sprung up to serve the community. And, and when people ask me, they'll say things like, oh, there, there can't be that many people. I'm like, do you really think that there are multiple major diaper companies who service this community because there's only a handful of people? Like, there are enough people around the world, even though many of them are hidden, that can support that larger economy. It's so cute. My name is Casey Strom. Welcome to Big Diaper. I am Casey Strom, CEO of AB Universe. And I think that we are one of the biggest uh, ABDL lifestyle brands in the world. Much to some people's uh, idea of what we are, we do actually have bathrooms here in the warehouse. The Cushy's diaper here is very, very similar to, you know, an actual print that you would have seen back in uh, in the 90s, uh, early 2000s. Um, this is our space diaper. When we were designing this, the concept was uh, based around my bedroom when I was four years old. People want what they had as a kid. It's very nostalgic. We try to play on the nostalgia. It's very important to us. In addition to manufacturing, designing, producing adult diapers and the accessories therein, uh, I also wear them uh, all the time. Since I started operating the company, the role play side of it kind of faded off for me and it really kind of levitated more to the DL side. I can remember back to when it was so exhilarating, you know, putting a diaper on, and now it's just quite literally it is my underwear. Um, I wear diapers 24-7. Wearing diapers has helped reduce my anxiety a bit. It acts kind of like a, uh, a safety blanket in a certain way. Wearing a diaper all the time or, you know, using a pacifier or whatever is calming and does help me deal with the big scary world. What do you do in the diaper? I think some things are better left to the imagination. How's it going? Good. So there's a thousand more orders in the queue? Thousand and one. A thousand and one? Yeah. A thousand and one. Fantastic. It feels great to be able to work somewhere where I feel accepted and I don't have to hide who I am. 
everyone that works here is like-minded and super sweet. It, it's it's really nice to be able to be like, I like what I'm doing. I like being able to help a community that I'm part of. My employees are, the majority of them, I think would identify as uh, age players, which I think that's pretty cool. This typically is somebody's biggest secret, and we don't have to hide that from each other. We can talk about it uh, openly, honestly, what we like, what we don't like. I believe it helps us better serve our customers. Manchester has two containers that are on their way. One's supposed to be arriving on the 13th. That container is currently getting delivered on time. Mike T, you're um, taking notes, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to sit down. Great, thanks. I'm gonna try and take some time off at the end of this week uh, just to recover. I've been on a sprint, uh, but I appreciate everybody and uh, thank you for your time this morning. Have a good morning. I think the biggest misconception about the ABDL community is that the A stands for something other than adult. The topic of pedophilia is often brought up with ABDL. The thing about ABDL that a lot of people don't understand is people are into the strong, confident male or female type that then regresses down into a baby and all of the power is taken away from them. So you have to understand like where the headspace is to begin with to even really understand what ABTL is. An adult in a diaper is not looking for a child. They're looking for another adult. You know, even the recent studies that have been done show that pedophilia and ABDL are not connected. You know, I've had issues with stalkers. I've been called every name in the book. It, 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 it's very simple. I like diapers. <gasps> Caitlin! You can spend 15 minutes holding that quarter to the wall, remembering why we don't swear. I think there are still gonna be people who don't understand ABDL because the idea of an adult putting on a diaper and doing these things is sometimes hard to understand without those prerequisites. But people just need to understand that um, it's not weird and it doesn't come from a place that is threatening. It's actually quite the opposite. Repeat after me. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. A little girl should not have a potty mouth. That's right. The media has portrayed this as being something super sensationalized and, and all that, whereas in fact, you know, this is one layer to someone's life. You know, um, it may be a big layer, it may be very important to them, it may not be. Have you 15 minutes yet? No. Time goes a lot slower when you're misbehaving, doesn't it? It still amazes me that a lot of the BDSM and kink groups who are into some pretty interesting things, and they'll draw the line at wearing diapers. And then I look at them like, really? Because I know some of the other stuff <laughs> that you all enjoy, so that's so weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting how that goes sometimes. You think you've learned a lesson about swearing? Yeah. You're not gonna do it again? Mm -hmm. That's right. How about we take that nap? I've been in this diaper all day. I'm gonna piddle one last time. And then... <laughs> Time for a change.